Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over tonight's uh, prime times as well as do my squad battle rewards. See if I can't pull anything useful. Before we get into that though, real quick, I just want to remind you, if you aren't able to catch my YouTube channel or uh, you want to see the new content immediately, I put all the new uh, useful cards on my Instagram. So it's Sleeveless Gaming on Instagram. I had a nice little template made up. So as you can see here, I can have all the information in terms of stats as well as the new cards right away at launch. So if you are, you know, not able to get near, uh, you know, uh, YouTube or anything like that, or you're not able to get to a stream, you can just hop on my Instagram and you'll see all the new cards there. So let's get into, first of all, the squad battle rewards. I finished Elite 1. I finished uh, just outside of top 100. So these are the rewards that I'm going to get just for... <clears throat> Just outside top 100, I literally missed it by about 300. Um, so, kind of tough there, but we'll see if we can't pull anything good. So, we're going to start with the premium packs. We'll, get, we'll start with the Carter Hart packs. Let's see. We're looking for, uh, I mean, Paul Coffee is really the only card I really need that would go right into my lineup. Other than that, it would just be stuff I could sell, and it doesn't look like, uh, who do we get there? Wow, Chris Phillips. Let's go. Literally nothing here. Wow. There was literally two plus 80 cards. It was Craig Smith and Kelly Yarncroke. That's a tough L right there. So, one pack down. Let's go with the next one. Again, I'm okay with getting any of the gold cards because at least I can turn those, uh, you know, obviously into collectibles. Craig Anderson, Jake DeBrusque. Okay, we got a few plus 80s, but, uh, yeah, nothing. These ones are probably going to be all 70s. Yes, yeah, okay. So, nothing there. Again, these packs aren't the good ones. The Mega Packs is where it's at because at least that's a ton of cards. Those are those green ones <clears throat> that are coming up. Come on, give me a sweet pull, boys. That's what we're looking for. Adam Fox is not it. Oh, and that was my other 80, so that's it. Okay, so now these ones are out of the way. Let's get to the actual good packs. And I'll show you guys my team as well and who we're working with. So 15 gold players plus... Uh, in here come on 80 commanderson uh, so the one thing i will say about this is in like terms of like your rewards and whatnot whenever you get packs that don't really have anything it's still okay because again the currency in nhl is still gold players i get a henrik lundquist it's kind of a useless card unfortunately nothing there wow 180 and above tough Holes, boys. You guys are not good luck. Last card? Nothing. Okay. So that's just pack fodder, whatever. We'll move on from that. Wow, man, it's a tough, uh, tough day for squad battles. I grinded hours of the CPU for this. Uh, 81. Stassi's not what we want. Nothing there. Kevin Hayes. Negative. Wow, Bill Carlson. I'm surprised we haven't pulled William Champagne yet. Waiting for that silver card that literally everyone gets. Man, these are terrible today. Okay, we're down to our last pack. All we've gotten is basically just quick sell cards. Let's get a Crosby or a McDavid something. Nice jersey. Pulled uh, the Kachinas. Nice. Jersey, come on. Give me something good. Give me... Uh, Jay Gensel could be worse. 83 overall. And these are just not what we want. Jeff Petrie, even though there's a primetime Jeff Petrie that we're going to look into in just a little bit. Yeah, we're not going to get anything here. A mm, couple hundred... Co wow, a lot of coins. All right, you'd love to see that. And, oh my goodness, well, at least we got something decent, but I've pulled so many 86 carry prices, so that one's, uh, that's okay. The purple, though, had had me. Alright, so, yeah, that's okay. We've pulled a bunch of carry prices, but that's alright. This one's tradable, so we will sell him. Pulled a bunch of coins as well. I'll do a quick team update and just show you guys what I'm thinking and where I'm going with the team before we get into the prime times. So we've got Lafleur, Gretzky, McDavid, Morenz, um, Bergeron, and Lemieux. Then we've got Panarin, Sackick, and Beliveau. And then Hall, Sundin, and Curry 
On defense, we've got Carlson. I need to get the actual high skin in. I will have that. <clears throat> and then Niedemeyer and Chelios. Followed by Blake and Hedman. And then we've got uh, Broder and Vasilevsky. So take a look at my synergies. I've got Distributor activated, Howitzer activated, and Speedster activated. The problem is, is that I've kind of been synergy prison because I can't really get rid of any of these without losing one of those synergies. So basically the one card uh, I am looking for to replace, I do want to get Paul Coffey to replace Victor Hedman. Um, however, I'm going to lose Howitzer with that. So what I was thinking was getting rid of Sundin. <clears throat> And adding in uh, Bobby Clark, who I had earlier, that I do like the 86 overall. He does have Howitzer, um, so that would be the trade-off there. This Taylor Hall has been okay, but I still think I'm going to sell him because he's 100K. Um, you know, and just hasn't really done anything crazy yet. However, there isn't really any other better card on the left side that I could go get. I mean, he's better than the primetime Kucher or the Team of the Week Kucherov that came out. Um, so I I'm not really sure who I'm going to get there. Um, so we'll have to wait and see on that one. But, uh, yeah, everything else is pretty much set. Uh, Sakic isn't uh, – I might move Sakic to the wing and grab Messier. That might be the only other thing. But other than that, team's pretty set right now until the next event. So uh, let's get into today's prime time. So like we do every day, we'll start with basically the top five cards that came out. Today wasn't a huge day for prime time, so we did get the Ryan Donato from my Sharks. Um, looking at the lower overall, so we'll help out free-to-play teams. However, this isn't where you want to look. Uh, he is going to be a strict winger with 67 face-offs with only 81 speed. So, any way you look at it, Ryan Donato is going to be a hard pass for me. Then we've got the 81 overall, Matias Yanmark from the Blackhawks now. Uh, does have the workhorse synergy, which isn't a terrible synergy, but it's like the three skating stats that I'm not super big on. Um, so, again, uh, just another pure winger card with only 67 faceoffs that has okay speed. I mean, it, this could be a decent bottom six card for anyone that, you know, has the base card team or, you're, you know, you're free to play. Or if you really have the workhorse synergy and you are looking to complete it, the skating stats on Matias Yamark aren't all that bad. His shot is in the low 80, so you could do better. But this would be a bottom, you know, you could get this card for basically free or the cheapest you can get him. So skating isn't bad, so it's not a bad option if you're looking for the workhorse synergy. Then we've got the 83 overall, Jeff Petrie, 6 foot 3208, one of the better cards in NHL 20 with the balance synergy, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, 83 skating with an okay slap shot, 84 power, 80 accuracy, good defensive awareness at 85 overall, and good body checking. This is a pretty good right handed card. Again, if you pair him with someone a little bit faster on the left side, uh, you could do a lot worse. Uh, and again, in his, in his own zone, in the defensive zone, he's going to be really good to knock people off the puck and work down low in the board. So, not a bad option at all. Just I kind of hate his synergy that he got, but uh, not a bad right-handed defenseman card for sure. Moving on to the 85, Jordan Bennington, and this could be a nice card to try out. 6-1, so he's right in that sweet spot. You want him in between 6-foot six, six and 6-2, six again, with how the new um, progression for goaltenders work and the stat caps on the taller goaltenders. It's that aggression under 80. A lot of the goaltenders, pretty much every single one, is like 85-plus, and again, aggression on goaltenders is what will dictate how far they come out it's not a stat that you want um to be 99 um it doesn't make him a better or worse goaltender however it's a it's a tendency like a personality trait and in 20 when they went to this change it did de it de you know determined how far they would come in and out of the net and you know on cross creases or one timers lower aggression goaltenders were far better because they were just in position a little bit more they could get left and right a little bit quicker um so this could be a nice goaltender to try if you do get to try him let me know in the comments section down below um how he plays for you but the only other thing that's a that's kind of a knock is that heart and soul is kind of a weak synergy the highlight of today's release we've got the 86 brad marchand man Brad Marchand just hasn't had a card that's useful in HUD in years because before it was because he was too small and you really needed a bigger, you know, a bigger forward to be effective. But now that even small forwards are effective, he still has like really slow skating for, you know, his his card. He's got a good shot at 89 accuracy, 84 power. But outside of that, I mean, like his skating is kind of low. I I mean, I'm I'm kind of curious what he would go for because 86 is obviously a higher end card. But there's no fit okay 49 i don't even know if i would want that for 49k because again 
on the wings, you really want to take advantage of someone's faster. If you had distributor, maybe, but you have to remember that because he's five foot nine, he's going to be, you know, kind of useless in his own zone. Um, and he's obviously just a winger with that 70 faceoff rating. Like, I would much rather have the 86 Taylor Hall, and it's not even close. So this one would be a pass for me. So, guys, that is it for the releases today. I'm just going to take a look and see what price is going for. I bet it's under 20K, well under 20K. Oh, he went up in price. I sold my last one for, like, 18000 So Carey Price, in my opinion, is still the best goaltender, um, regardless of synergy. That's the problem is that he obviously doesn't have distributors, so it does look like low 20 20s is what I'm aiming for. Uh, so we're going to put him up for just under 20, undercut the market a little bit. Um, but yeah, so kind of a disappointing pack pull, guys. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me know what you pulled from today's um, squad battle release. And if you have any other questions, make sure you leave that. Uh, in terms of lineup decisions, go and check out my Who Should You Choose video, the daily morning videos that I do uh, to help you guys with your lineup decisions. And I will see you guys tomorrow.